Welcome back, everybody. Matt the Bat here. You know, well, so we got some giant news today. Boom. Ba Boom. Um, Martin's with Disney is looking at directing a new film with Leonardo DiCaprio. Matt, I thought you said this was big news. No shit. How many movies have Leonardo DiCaprio? And Martin Scorsese has done since 2002. Well, let me see. You got the Gangs of New York. You got the Aviator. You got the Departed. You got Shutter Island. You got the Wolf of Wall Street. You, got, you just had Killers on the Flower Moon. They're currently shooting a movie right now. So, uh, seven. Seven. Um... So, uh, this is not big news. And it's gonna, and what was the other news? It's gonna be a Frank Sinatra biofilm. Well, Matt, that's not big news either. They've been talking about doing a Frank Sinatra movie since the Howard Hughes movie, The Aviator, in 2004, which is gonna be 20 years old this December. So, uh, once again, what's the news? They might finally be making it. Is this before Martin's Presenty kicks it over or or Leo starts doing drugs and kicks it over? Which one? Um the so what's the actual news here? Jennifer Lawrence is attached. Oh now we're talking. Um so yeah. <laughs> Martin Scorsese looks like he's going to finally make his, how, I was going to say Howard Hughes, he already made that movie. Frank Sinatra movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. They've been talking about this movie for 20 years now. They're finally going to make it. Right now it looks like Sony is going to be the one behind it if, if Frank Sinatra's daughter, or granddaughter, don't know, um, Approves of it. Um, and Jennifer Lawrence will be playing Ava Gardner, the wife of Frank Sinatra. Why is this interesting, too? Well, I just said, in 2004, they made a movie called The Aviator. It was the life of Howard Hughes. Great movie, by the way. If you've never seen The Aviator with Leo and the Top Girl, Excellent movie. This was the movie that really won me over on Leo. Um, that he, he should go all the way. Um, and in that movie, Howard Hughes was kind of not really, but kind of romantically with Ava Gardner. But in this movie, it was played by Kate Beckinsale. Um, so it's interesting now to have Leonardo DiCaprio back. Now playing Frank Sinatra, where he's going to be actually married to Ava Gardner. But not, but not, we're not going to bring back Kate Beckinsale. We're going to bring in Jennifer Lawrence instead. Now, on that note, great. I love Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, she's one of my favorite actresses. She's known for doing dramatic dramas. Or dramas. That's where she's gotten all her Academy Award nominations. And she really hasn't done any, I mean... I enjoyed her last year in No Hard Feelings, the romantic comedy she did. But then even before that, it was over. And then she was in that Don't Look Up with Leonardo DiCaprio on Netflix in 2021. I didn't like that movie. But she was a, that was an ensemble film. So, I mean, other than for No Hard Feelings, it's been a while since she started a movie. Not only that, since she played a real, a been in a real drama. Uh, not to mention to finally see Jennifer Lawrence working with Martin Scorsese. Yes. Yes. Um, so yeah, I hope this movie finally gets off the ground. Um, uh, really in the article it said that, you know, right now, uh, Scorsese is working on his new Jesus movie. And he's looking at Miles Teller and Andrew Garfield to be in that film. 
He's already worked with Andrew Garfield in the movie Silence. Um, I want to say back in like 2016 with Liam Neeson and Adam Driver. Um, so, when he wants to shoot the Jesus movie and the Frank Sinatra film back to back. And I think that's a great idea. Have them both come out in like 2025. Um, one in the fall or one in the spring and one in, in December. Especially the Frank Sinatra one. Academy Awards type of level movie. Yeah, maybe. Um, but let me know in the comments below. Are you looking forward to a Frank Sinatra biofilm? I'm kind of shocked that nobody has made one yet. Listening to his music during the Christmas time when he has his Christmas albums. Um, but once again, you get Martin Scorsese, my favorite director, one of my favorite actors, Leonardo DiCaprio, and one of my favorite actresses, Jennifer Lawrence. This will be good. Uh, let me see. Oscar nomination, Oscar nomination, Oscar nomination. Um, and I wonder who else. But let me know in the comments below. Are you looking forward to this? Frank Sinatra film, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence. Hopefully this will be his next movie. And we're not going to wait another 20 years. I don't think Martin will still be alive by then. But hey, you never know. Let me know in the comments below. Matt, I'm out here. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment.